This presentation builds upon concepts introduced in the Cylindrical Projections presentation which is the first part of the Map Projection RLO series. This RLO presentation explores conic map projections in greater detail. The third part of this series focuses on azimuthal projections. Recall that there are three primary developable surfaces for projecting the spherical Earth's surface on a two-dimensional map plane, a cone, a flat plane, or a cylinder. This presentation focuses on the family of conic projections. The most common orientation of the conic projection is polar or normal besides the more seldom transverse and oblique orientations. In the polar orientation, the center point of the conic projection surface is directly above the pole. For this orientation, the graticule has two distinct properties. First, meridians are straight lines that converge at the pole. Second, parallels are arcs of circles that are concentric around the pole. Consequently, parallels cross all meridians at right angles. The case of a projection describes whether the developable surface is tangent to the globe or intersects it. The resulting lines of tangency or intersection are called standard lines. The tangent case shown to the left results in one standard line, and the secant case to the right results in two standard lines. Standard lines have no distortion from the projection process. Legends for maps and conic projections should always include the latitudes for the standard parallels. These figures illustrate the general distortion pattern for a conic projection in polar orientation. For both the tangent and the secant case, the color band shows that the lines of equal distortion are lines parallel to the standard lines. Distortion increases away from the standard lines, where the maximum distortion is smaller for the seeking case. Since distortion is constant along parallels, conic projections are commonly used to map regions of long east-west extension. This distortion pattern is hard to observe in a small area. It is most visible when mapping large areas such as continents or the world. The central meridian is another parameter to be specified in conic projections besides the placement of suitable standard parallels. The central meridian is usually located at the center of the longitudinal range. It is the single line of longitude that is truly vertical on the map and runs parallel to the y-axis. Different types of north directions can be found on a map. Grid north describes north-south lines parallel to the y-axis and the central meridian, whereas true north, which is also called geodetic or astronomic north, points towards the north pole and runs along a meridian. The angle measured clockwise from the meridian to the grid north line is the meridian convergence. While grid north is constant for the entire map, true north changes from east to west. Therefore, meridian convergence varies across the map. If a point in the northern hemisphere lies to the east of the central meridian, the meridian convergence angle will be positive. Likewise, if a point lies to the west of the central meridian, the meridian convergence angle will be negative. Only at the central meridian does grid north coincide with true north. The azimuth, or direction of a line from a point A to a point B, is measured by the clockwise angle from north. The green arcs show the true azimuth between true north and the line AB where red arcs show the grid azimuth from grid north to line AB. The difference between the true azimuth and the grid azimuth is the meridian convergence measured at the endpoints of line AB. This table lists three prominent conic projections, 
In general, conic projections are ill-suited for mapping the entire world and better utilized for mapping continental or regional areas. The most common conic projections for mapping the continental United States are the Albers Equal Area Conic Projection and the Lambert Conformal Conic Projection. The equidistant conic projection preserves distances along meridians and one or two standard parallels. It is a compromise projection, which is often used in atlases. The Lambert conformal conic projection maintains angular relationships and accurate shapes over small areas. It is commonly used for topographic and state-based maps, but also to map continents. In this figure, standard parallels are chosen at latitudes far apart to keep distortions small when mapping the whole North American continent. For conic projections in normal aspect, the scale factor varies across the north-south extent, while it does not change in east-west direction. For the secant case, which is shown in these illustrations, the local map scale is less than the principal scale between the two parallels. This means that for this region, a distance measured between two points on the map is shorter when compared to the distance along the Earth's surface computed between the two points. Outside the two parallels, map projection scale is greater than the principal scale. Since scale distortion between and near the standard parallels is relatively small for the Lambert conformal conic map projection, it provides good directional and shape relationships for mapping a mid-latitude area of a greater east-west than north-south extent, such as the 48 conterminous states. In mapping the 48 conterminous states, standard parallels are usually chosen at 33 and 45 degrees north. The Albers Equal Area Conic Projection ensures that all areas on the map are proportional to areas on Earth. It uses two standard parallels, in this example 30 and 60 degrees latitude north. This projection is frequently used for thematic maps of the U.S. While this is a global depiction of the Albers Equal Area Conic Projection, if the objective is to preserve areas for larger continental regions, other projections would be better suited. The Tissot indicatrices for the Lambert conformal conic projection are all circles, indicating no angular distortions and the preservation of shapes in small areas. The indicatrices change in size when moving away from the standard parallels which means that the relative size of areas is not preserved with this projection. For the Albers Equal Area Conic Projection, the Tissot's indicatrices are circles along the standard lines. For all other locations, indicatrices are elliptical in shape, meaning that shapes are not preserved. However, indicatrices retain the same area as on the standard lines. While Tissot indicatrices visualize pattern distortions, we will give a small numerical example to quantify map distortion for selected map points. We use the U.S. contiguous Lambert conformal conic map projection with standard parallels at 33 degrees north and 45 degrees north, with only the southern standard parallel being visualized here. The map contains four-point pairs. The two points in each of the four-point pairs are 0.1 degrees apart in latitude and located on the same meridian. The lower two-point pairs are located near the lower standard parallel, while the upper two-point pairs are located midway between the two standard parallels at 39 degrees latitude. First, we calculate the distance on the Earth's surface between points for the southern two-point pairs. It amounts to about 
11,090 meters for both pairs. Next, we use a geographic information system to measure the distance between these points on the projected map. We see that the map distance is equal to the computed surface distance, which can be expected since the two point pairs are located near the standard parallel. We repeat these steps for the northern two point pairs. The computed surface distance at 39 degrees north latitude is about 11,101 meters for both point pairs, while the measured map distance is about 11,041 meters and therefore about 60 meters shorter. This difference is because these two point pairs are located between the two standard parallels, where the scale factor is smaller than 1 resulting in a smaller local map scale than the principal map scale. It can also be observed that the magnitude of distortion is equal for points at the same latitude as previously described. For this latitude, the results correspond in north-south direction to a map accuracy of about one part in 183, or 0.5%. Now we apply the same procedures to points that are located on the same parallel. The map shows four point pairs that are 0.1 degrees apart in longitude and located at the same latitudes as before. Analyzing the southern group of points, we can see that also in east-west direction, the measured map distance equals the computed surface distance within each point pair. As expected, there is no map distortion along the standard parallel. For the northern points, the computed surface distance in east-west direction is about 8,663 meters, while the measured map distance is about 8,615 meters, which is 47 meters shorter. This gives also for the east-west direction a map accuracy of about one part in 183, or 0.5%, which matches the map accuracy found for north-south directions on the previous slide. This match in map accuracy can be expected since with a conformal map projection, scale distortions are the same in each direction at a given map point. While the Lambert conformal conic projection can be used to map a whole continent, it is also used for mapping selected zones within the state plane coordinate system, in particular for those zones with a large east-west extent. Florida has three state plane coordinate system zones as indicated with bold lines in the inset. The Florida North Zone uses the secant case Lambert conformal conic projection due to its longer east-west extension. The Florida North Zone has a central meridian at 84.5 degrees west, which lies to the west of the state capital, Tallahassee. This zone has two standard parallels at 29.583 and 30.75 degrees north. The latitude of the origin for the coordinate system is at 29 degrees north. The intersection of latitude of origin and central meridian determines the original origin of a projected map coordinate system. To simplify calculations in a coordinate grid, only the upper right-hand quadrant of a plane coordinate system is normally used. This results in all easting and northing coordinates being positive. To make this feasible, a false easting and a false northing may be used to shift the origin of the coordinate system by adding an arbitrarily large value to the easting and northing coordinates respectively. In state plane coordinate systems, the original origin often lies to the south of all points but does not lie to the west of all points. To get positive eastings for all points in the Florida North State Plane Coordinate Zone, a false easting value of 1,968,500 international feet is added to each easting coordinate. 
Thus, the Florida North State Plain coordinates for the intersection of the central meridian and latitude of origin is 1,968,500 international feet east and zero international feet north. Map distortion on global and continental areas can be significant. However, over local areas, even different projections will result in similar small measurement distortions when standard parallels and the central meridian are chosen appropriately. This is illustrated in a comparison between the Lambert conformal conic and the equidistant conic map projection. In the given example, the two maps of Kansas have the same extent in north-south and east-west direction. Further, they share the same central meridian and two standard parallels. Although, the Lambert conformal conic projection preserves angular relationships and the equidistant conic projection preserves distance relationships along meridians, there are no distinguishable differences between the Tissot indicatrices on each map of Kansas. Thus, the computation of distances on either projection will result in the same approximate result. As an example for coordinate readings from a map that uses a conic projection, let us consider the area around the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center. The superimposed grid lines provide reference for east and north coordinate values in meters based on the Lambert conformal conic projection as specified for the contiguous United States. The northwest corner of the administration building reads as 1,598,969 meters east and negative 1,297,345 meters north. This projection uses a latitude of origin at 39 degrees north, which runs through states like Maryland or Virginia. The latitude of origin is therefore north of Florida. Since this projection does not use false northing, the north coordinate of the map point is negative. This image is additionally superimposed with a graticule shown in blue. Since a conformal map projection is used, parallels and meridians intersect at right angles. Also, one can see that the map grid and the graticule are not aligned. The central meridian of the used Lambert conformal conic projection is located at 96 degrees west, while the campus area shown is located at about 80 degrees west. Therefore, the meridian convergence angle is positive in this area. This slide summarizes the presentation. It started with an introduction to distortion patterns of conic map projections. Distortions are smallest near the lines of tangency or intersection. Next, meridian convergence was explained, which varies across the map. Finally, this module showed some conic projections that are commonly used to map the entire U.S. or that are used in the state plane coordinate system to map its zones.